Hello fellow collectors, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today I thought I'd take you with me as I do a bit of reorganising. As you can see I bought a new little bookshelf which I made a mistake not once but twice while building, but I did get there in the end and then embarked on shifting my boutique collection around to fill the much needed extra space. I thought it would be fun to do some time lapses to document the process, and watching it you'll kind of get a bit of a collection update as well. Well, I'll pop in and out with some commentary as the video goes on, but I hope you enjoy. And with a quick glance at my non-boutique shelf, you can see that I have had to start putting boutique box sets on the top here because I've simply run out of space on my other bookcases. Uh, there's some DVD sets that I can move, but here is where I keep my boutique collection, under the sloping roof and next to the bed, which is a bit of a tight squeeze, but it's all the space that I have. And here in front of the radiator is space for another bookcase, which is usually a bad idea, but summer is almost here, thankfully, um, so I won't be needing it for a little while. I'm here just figuring out which Eureka titles to display, and honestly I thought there'd be more room for them. In the end I chose Robinson Crusoe on Mars for the first one here, which has a brilliantly 60s looking sci-fi cover, and then on the other shelf it was quite a squeeze that I'm still not sure I'm quite happy with, but I went with Sweet Bean, which might not have the greatest cover, but is such a lovely and heartwarming film, it demands to be displayed.
I'm just setting aside some space here for the Radiance film releases, 12 of which are on their way to me at the moment, and hopefully will be added before I finish this video. And then sorry for the bad angle, but I just did the best I could with these bottom rows. They weren't the easiest ones to film. I was a little bit sad to have to shift the HMV premiums around again here, as I was hoping to avoid having too many stacked on top of each other, but space is always an issue, even when adding a new bookcase I suppose. And I did need to make some space as I have recently added some more Mubi, Kerzon and Third Window titles over the last couple months. And with the box sets, I've been trying something a little bit different to how I had them displayed before. When I got volume 4 of the BFI's Bergman box sets, it struck me just how lovely the three that I have looked facing out together, so I thought I'd try a little bit of a new display technique for the others too. And then into putting the finishing touches on things for now, the Radiance titles finally arrived so I am very happily adding them to my shelf here. And then very recently I've been picking up a few plain archive titles which are absolutely gorgeous, starting with Rust and Bone you can see there. So what I wanted to do was try to keep the shelf as a plain archive shelf slash a bit of a display one, um, and as Arrival came just a few days ago in the post it seems right to have that lovely lenticular display there as well. And that's everything from me. Thanks so much for joining me on this reorganisation journey. I am extremely happy with how things turned out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.